We live in a world of illusions. The sun and the moon, the stars and the galaxies, the physical objects that surround us. Everything that we see inside of space and time is nothing but a manifestation of our visualization tool. It's the lens through which we perceive reality. But the truth is that the reality we are interacting with is nothing like what we see. It's beyond space and time. It's a mystical realm of pure consciousness, where everything is connected and everything is one. We have made the mistake of assuming that what we see is the ultimate reality. We believe that our senses, our perception and our intellect are the final arbiters of truth. But that's just a rookie mistake. It's like someone who has played a video game for so long that they have no idea there is a world beyond the screen. We are like that right now, trapped in the illusion of space and time. If you look in the mirror, what do you see? You see your physical body, your skin, hair and eyes. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. What you can't see is your soul, your spirit, your essence. It's the part of you that's beyond space and time, the part that's eternal and infinite. And that's where true reality lies. Everything in this world is part of a grand simulation, a virtual reality game that we are all playing. We have been given certain desires and aspirations, and we are exploring the world in our own unique ways. Some of us are artists, others are scientists, and still, others are explorers or philosophers. But in the end, we are all part of a cosmic dance, a never-ending exploration of consciousness. Evolutionary theory is just one lens through which we can view this grand simulation. It's a tool that helps us understand the mechanics of the game, but it's not the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth is that we are all part of a grand experiment, a journey of discovery that will never end. So what are we really doing? What's the purpose of this grand game? That's the question that we all ask ourselves. And the answer is simple. We are here to explore, to learn, to grow. We are here to experience the infinite possibilities of consciousness and to evolve into something greater than we ever thought possible. Every human being on this planet, whether they are your neighbors, your best friends, or your worst enemies, is a mere player in this grand game of life. We are all here to play our part, to explore our unique talents and abilities, and to contribute to the greater good. Our present exploration of reality may seem rich and full of possibilities to us, but it is trivial compared to the vastness of what lies beyond our current understanding. As we ponder the limits of our perception and imagination, we are faced with the realization that our grasp of reality is feeble and incomplete. Consider the simple act of imagining a higher dimension. We can visualize a square or a cube, but when we try to conceive of a cube in four dimensions, our minds are unable to grasp it. We feel a sense of frustration and limitation, as if we are missing out on something essential. This feeling of inadequacy is even more acute when we contemplate the limits of our sensory experience. We can perceive only three dimensions of color, and even within this limited range, our perception is subjective and variable. What if there are other dimensions of color that we cannot even imagine? What if there are conscious experiences that are beyond our current capacity to conceive? Yet, paradoxically, it is consciousness itself that is exploring these uncharted territories. Our limited perspective is like a tiny headset that only allows us to see a small fraction of the vast reality that surrounds us. We are like passengers on a train, gazing out of a tiny window at a magnificent landscape that we can only partially apprehend. As we try to expand our consciousness and push beyond our current limits, we are confronted with a profound challenge. To venture into the unknown requires us to let go of what we know, to abandon our familiar concepts and ideas, and venture into the abyss of the unfamiliar. This can be terrifying, as we face the possibility of losing our grip on reality and plunging into a void of uncertainty. Yet. For those who are willing to take the risk, there is a reward. By surrendering our attachment to the known, 
and opening ourselves to the unknown, we can experience a profound sense of liberation and renewal. The silence of meditation, for example, can be both healing and terrifying. As we confront the depths of our own being and glimpse the vastness of the cosmic consciousness that surrounds us. If we can embrace this spirit of exploration and let go of our attachment to the limited headset of our current perspective, we may be able to project our consciousness into new realms of understanding. By seeing beyond the illusions of space and time, we can begin to glimpse the true nature of reality and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our current comprehension. This is a fallible enterprise, of course, and we must approach it with humility and openness to the unknown. But with courage and persistence, we can pierce the veil of illusion and glimpse the true nature of the universe. And in doing so, we may discover a realm of infinite beauty and mystery that lies beyond our wildest dreams. As you go about your daily life, you may believe that what you experience is as real as it seems to be. However, if you take a step back and reflect, you may come to realize that there is an enormous gap between appearance and reality, between how you perceive things and what those things really are. Because the world you experience is created in your mind, it is similar in many ways to your experience when you are dreaming. When you dream, you create a world in your mind based on memories and imagination. Similarly, your experience of the waking world is based on sense perception. Both the waking and the dream worlds exist in your mind, and it's impossible to distinguish between the two in the absence of sense perception. The physical world does indeed exist, but it's not absolutely real. It is a product of our senses and perception, limited by the names and forms we give to objects. This perception is subjective and incomplete, representing only a small part of what truly exists. To fully grasp the true nature of reality, one must acknowledge the limitations of senses and the subjective nature of perception, and broaden their understanding beyond the physical world. All we have been discussing here points to something that is already familiar to you. Appearances can be deceiving. It's natural to believe that your five senses of sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch give you an accurate representation of the world around you. But the fact is, your powers of perception are extremely limited. Experiencing the world through your five senses is like looking through five little pinholes pierced in a heavy blanket covering your head. Experience has shown that you can only perceive a minute fraction of what really exists. For example, a dog can sniff and differentiate 50 times more smells than you can. Your ears can hear only a narrow range of pitches, and your eyes can only see colors from red to violet. But beyond those pitches and colors lies a vast range of sound and light that you simply can't perceive. The point is, because the range of your senses is so limited, you can't fully and accurately perceive the world around you. Only a tiny part is accessible. Everything you see, hear, taste, smell, and touch is conveyed to your brain by your nervous system. Then, your powerful brain produces a mental representation or model of the world. That mental representation of the world is what you directly perceive, not the world outside. The ultimate reality is described as infinite, eternal, and unchanging, and it is the source of all existence. The physical world, on the other hand, is said to be temporary, constantly changing, and ultimately illusory. It is like a dream in the sense that it is not as real as it appears to be. This does not mean that the physical world does not exist or that it is not important. Rather, it means that the physical world is not the ultimate reality. It is a manifestation of something deeper, and it is through the physical world that we can come to understand and experience this deeper reality. In order to understand the nature of the physical world, it is important to recognize the limitations of our senses and our minds. As we have already discussed, our senses are limited in terms of the range of information that they can perceive. Our minds too are limited in their ability to comprehend reality. 
To understand what the world really is, you can't blindly accept everything you see, hear, taste, smell, and touch. Your ordinary experiences make the world seem much more real than it truly is. Then, how can you break free from this illusion? How can you see the world exactly as it is? To transcend this illusion, one must question everything that is taken for granted and seek the truth through experiential knowledge. This is a deeply personal and individual journey that can take many forms. Some may find solace and clarity through deep introspection and meditation, while others may find it through exploring new cultures, ideas, and experiences. Ultimately, it's about living in the present moment and enjoying the beauty and mystery of life without getting caught up in unnecessary dramas or taking everything personally, treating it more like a video game. The key is to remain open-minded, curious, and willing to embrace the unknown. It is about cultivating a sense of detachment and mindfulness, allowing oneself to see the world without the filters of preconceptions, biases, and limiting beliefs. It's about recognizing that life is a beautiful, mysterious game, and that the ultimate goal is not to win, but to fully experience and appreciate the journey.